This is the red tractor. Well, what's left of it since the motor blew in it and the front end got ripped out. I just got these rear tires for it that make it a good two, well, that fender's out a little far, make it a good two, three inches wider than the fenders are both sides. I'm trying to get a front end mounted up somehow using some old lawn tractor axle and stuff I had laying around. Just put a new rear end in it. It's a three speed. Shifts like a car. Can't remember how the gears go exactly in it. I got looking steering wheel I ever saw in a lawn tractor. Best one I ever saw. Today, I'm gonna flip it up and try and figure out something to do with that front end. See, I got this welded in, and I got an axle on it, because you can see where the axle's supposed to go, but one, that axle's too short, so I didn't measure it right, and two, the tires hit up here, because I moved it up a good half inch. So, what I'm going to end up doing is cutting this one off and welding another piece of this lawn tractor axle shaft in, extending out longer and putting a spacer there so it comes out past that. Make the tractor wider too, which will make it easier handling. plan and then once I get a front end under I'll get into mounting the motor in and putting the hood on then running some sort of dual pipes down the bottom of it here then it'll be getting painted black and I'm gonna call it the black streak when it's done and I'm gonna put it on the side of the hood like the hood will be here I want black streak going down it painted those rims gold. You can't really see it in this light. It's got a really big pulley on the back of it. It's because that rear end's geared really high. Well, that's about it for now. Once I get that cut off, and I'm about to weld a new one on. I'll get a video of that.